first thing I'm going to do is add some oil to my frying pan and let that just come to a heat. So I have about a cup of water here and I'm going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of curry powder to this. You don't want to add too much because the curry can definitely become bitter but if it does just add a little bit of sugar to that and it should get rid of that for you. I'm going to add some seasoning salt. Should be about a tablespoon and a half but it really depends on the portion size that you are making gradually add it so that you don't overdo it and that you add enough I'm adding some thyme leaves this is quite optional these are dried thyme leaves I'm using right now I'm gonna add a little black pepper this is optional you can use any kind of pepper you want and then I'm just gonna mix it together and we're gonna set this aside until we add our stuff to our pot. So the ingredients that I'm using for this dish are some chopped onions. I got some mushrooms here and some asparagus and I also have some potatoes. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and add your potatoes to your pot and then you also want to add your onions on top of this. You're going to add these two about when this is about halfway cooked. So you don't want to add them too early unless you want them really soft. I don't want mine too soft. I still want mine to have a little bit of crunch to it. So those will be added when these are halfway cooked. You're going to want to come back occasionally and check with a knife or a fork. And once you know that they're halfway cooked, then you can go ahead and add the rest. So now you want to... Hold on one sec, babe. I'm going to go ahead and add my little water mixture that I made here. And I'm going to let this come to a boil. And then you want to cover this and let it cook down until, like I said, it's about halfway cooked before you add the rest. So I will see you guys. So you have the option to eat that dish all by itself, but I'm going to have mine with some rice. This is just like the added bonus of it, and I find that it's a little bit more filling. You can have pasta if you don't want rice, or your favorite noodle dish, whichever you prefer. So I'm here washing my rice now, just taking the rice and running it between my hands. Usually I would use two hands, but because I'm filming for you guys, it's a little harder to do that. And then you just strain off your water. I wash my rice until the water is not as cloudy as it is now. And we're going to get this on the stove. So I'm going to add about a teaspoon of salt to this. The amount of salt will depend on the portion size that you are making. And then I'm also going to go ahead and add some butter. I find that the butter just helps to add a really nice flavor to the rice and help it to soften up just right. And I'm going to let this come to a boil and then we're going to turn it down, cover it, and leave it and let it simmer. It's going to be really good. So I've had my rice boiling for about five minutes now on a high heat and I turn my stove down on medium because you don't want to turn down too low and get the rice too mushy. So I'm going to cover this now and let it simmer for about another 10 minutes and it should be perfect. My potatoes have been cooking for about 10 minutes now. As you can see, the gravy is started to thicken up nicely. So we're going to go ahead and check just to see if it's halfway cooked. So it is halfway. There's some areas, some not so much. So my knife doesn't go in as easy. At this point, you can go ahead and add the rest of your ingredients. I'm just going to wait about three more minutes before I add the rest of mine. Three minutes later, I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of my ingredients. You can substitute just about anything here. If you don't want asparagus, you can use broccoli. If you don't want mushrooms, you can use whatever else, sweet peppers. Once you have everything in here, you want to combine all of that goodness. You can add a little bit of water just to dilute the gravy, just a little bit. But I'm going to cover mine so my pot would automatically make a little bit of steam. And these are going to steam down nicely. So you want to ensure that you cover everything because you want everything to get a little bit of that sauce. cover this and I'm going to turn down my stove occasionally come back and check on it like I said if you need to add a little extra water to dilute if you find that your gravy is drying out a little too fast go ahead and add it all right let's check this out looks really good so it's been cooking for about another 10 minutes as you can see how nice and thick my gravy is smells great the potatoes definitely looked cooked yep they are really good and our rice has steamed down very nicely so I'm gonna go ahead and plate this so that is the end of the dish guys alright guys so here is the finished dish it looks amazing tastes even better than it looks and it's super filling and this is great if you're just not feeling for any meat that day so if you enjoy be sure to like thumbs up and I'll see you for the next dish bye
So the ingredients that I'm using are some chopped onions. I have some mushrooms here and I have some, um, how are these again? Okay. 